You leave in the morning with everything you own in a little black case. Alone on the platform, the wind and the rain on a sad and lonely face. Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away. Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away. All right. Hey, it's Rob. And uh, you may be saying to yourself, haven't you already done an acoustic guitar tutorial on the Bronski Beats Small Town Boy? And yes, it's true. This is the second attempt at doing this, but... I've added a little bit to this. I've added the intro, and uh, I think I can do a little bit better job overall expressing the information to you on how you play uh, Small Town Boy by the Brodsky Boot on acoustic guitar. So, starting off, I'm going to say you've got yourself a capo here, and uh, you may or may not want to use a capo on this song. I do, because I find that's a good range for my voice if I have the capo on the fourth fret. And uh, your mileage may vary. You may not want to use a capo at all. That's great. You may want to have it higher, or lower, wherever your voice is comfortable. I try to do it so I can sing as high as I possibly can without going into my falsetto range. I find that the higher, you know, register of my voice cuts through more. It gets, you know, more people paying attention to it. When I sing lower, it's dark and moody and you kind of don't hear it as well. So... That's why I'm running my capo here on the fourth fret today. When I refer to a chord in this video, if I'm playing this, it's a C sharp minor with the capo where it is. I'm gonna call it an A minor. I'm referring to chords by their shapes, not the actual sound they are making. So if I'm playing this right here, well, it is a B chord up there, but uh, I'm calling it a G. Just so wherever you play it on the fretboard, you're going to be thinking about the shapes of the chords, not the actual tones that they are making. So, now that I've got that out of the way, let's talk about the intro, which I didn't do last time. And I'm going to show you how to play the intro real quick of Small, <laughs> Small Town Boy. I'm getting tongue-tied. It's funny because I really get tongue-tied with this song anyway. The alone on the platform, the wind and the rain, and the sad and lonely. Like, the lyrics are hard to get out. And the thing, the run away, turn away, run away, I'm always messing that up too, so... This song may take some practice for you. I know it does for me. Maybe that's why I'm out here. I'm trying to teach myself how to play it. Anyway, so the intro. You're going to just pick out the notes in the chords that are the same pattern as the chords that go through the whole song. Pretty easy song to play. Deceptively simple, but like I said, a lot harder to perform than you would imagine just because of the words and, uh, you know, how they all have to lay together and whatever. You'll find out when you try it yourself. Anyway, so the main pattern of the song is what I'm calling an A minor. <laughs> then a G, then a D minor, and then a C. That's it. A minor, G minor, D minor, and then your C. D minor, if it's not a chord that comes up for you a lot, it's the same as D, but the high note is just flatted one note here. So you're gonna play your second finger on what would be your A string if it was open, third finger on what would be the D, and then this is an F note. And you get and that's your D minor. Anyway, we're going to pick out the notes. We're going to do some string skipping here. Something you really got to think about and practice. I'm not that great at it, you know, at it either in this song. So uh, I'll get through it best I can. For the A minor, you're going to play the open, what would be A note here. It's the open A. Then you're going to play the um, picked A here, the fingered A on the third string and then the fingered, what would be C, on the second string. So you're gonna play this, uh, these notes right here. So you are in fact skipping the D string altogether. And for the first round, you're gonna get this. You're gonna get the three notes. And then for the last time, the last repetition of the A minor chord, you're only gonna do the lowest and the highest notes. So you're gonna do the A and then the C, the lowest and highest, highest notes that you're picking. So you're gonna do 
try it again. <laughs> like I told you, I'm not great at this either, so we can learn together. That's your A minor pattern. For G, you're not gonna play the G chord, you're gonna play a low, what would be the G, with your second finger on the lowest string, low E, and then you're going to finger the same note that you had in the last chord, the A on the G string, the second fret on the G string, if it was open. You're gonna play what is called a G9, a G add nine, a G chord, you're gonna add the A, the second degree, which they also call the ninth, because we only have eight notes. When you get to the ninth note, it just keeps repeating A, B, C, D again. So same picking pattern, but now you're going to skip uh, the a, open A string and the open D string. You're gonna skip two strings. Oh, there goes my light. You're gonna skip two strings and you're going to pick the, uh, like I said, the low G and then this A up here on the third string or the second fret on the third string, whatever note you want to call it. And you're going to string skip and do the same thing. You're going to play this note, this note, and then you're going to play the open B string, and you're going to do the same pattern. Yikes. <laughs> So the same pattern there as you did before. The first two things you're gonna hear are. So there you are, or some variation <laughs> thereof. And uh, now you go into your D minor chord. This one's easy, I'm just gonna pick my open D, the fourth string, I'm gonna play that A note again on the third string, and then the octave D on the second string. So the first two fingered notes of the chord plus the lower note, the open note to begin with, and in the same pattern. So more or less, that's what it is. I'm missing some of them too, but uh, hopefully I can get it all together by the end and play it through once correctly so you can see what it is. And then uh, your C, you're going to play the low C, skip your D string again, and you're gonna play your open G and your fretted C, first fret, uh, second string, and your picking pattern is the same. You miss a note here and there, it happens. I'm doing it left and right today. And uh, you'll get the idea across of the keyboard part in the song, and that's what we're trying to do. So the whole pattern together, I'll try to go through it slowly and try to do it correctly. We'll see. All right, so I got through it correctly once. That's it, that's all I gotta do. I can just sample it, repeat it or something. But anyway, that's your intro, more or less. And uh, the rest of the song are just the same chords. A minor, G, D minor, and C. Same chords for the verse, same chords for what I'd call the refrain, the turn away, run away, turn away, all that stuff. And uh, it just repeats through the whole song. So uh, second verse is, Pushed around and kicked around, I was a lonely boy. You were the one they talk about around town as they put you down. Run away, turn away, run away, turn away, run away. Run away, turn away, run away, turn away. So that's basically the whole song. Of course, you want to get the lyrics and see you, you know, where the verses are and the refrains and all that stuff. The only other thing I taught you in the last lesson is a walk down. I like to do it, but it's not necessary. I'm walking down from A minor, G, D minor, and I'm going. I'm walking down from the C back to the A minor. So I'm playing C, just picking those notes. Then I'm putting my second finger down there and just, you know, giving a passing tone. I'm also putting my 
pinky here on the D string. You can or can't do that. It's okay either way. Any notes you pick are gonna be all right. I feel like Bob Ross. Anything you put up here on the canvas, that's gonna be great. So the walk down would be, uh, I'll sing another verse. Mother will never understand why you had to leave. For the answers you seek will never be found at home. Love you need will never be found at home. Run away, turn away, etc. So if you want to do that walk down, great. Like I said, you're just adding that B note, a passing tone between the C. getting back to that A minor. I need to practice again a bit too. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit, uh, you know, discombobulated this morning. Anyway, it happens. You just push through it. And uh, that's what I'm doing today with this video here. I hope that helps a little bit. Teaches you how to play a small town boy, the intro and the body of the song. Have fun with it. See you on the next one.